It may be small, but it's mighty. The whole bench is wobbling. <laughs> Cuteness. Stuff that. A bit more oil in there. Can't get enough oil. So it's still fairly firm on the on the turn. Now back into biting metal. Break the chips. Half one break. Half one break.
Okay, I've got this far now. So this is what we got. Now those faces meet up nice and parallel. Pretty good. I'll tape that away, but I have made a mistake here. I want to. Thing is, when you clamp onto something, and so we're just clamping onto that there, it doesn't draw up parallel. So just imagine we're going to screw in this handle here. Comes. like that and I don't want that I want it to come in sort of parallel so I really need this back set of this clamp here to push the jaws back that way like that but I'm gonna have to, gonna have to redo it for what I got here let me just see if I can show you so an oversized hole here and you can see it slides along the threaded rod and an oversized hole here and it slides along the threaded rod. What I really need is one side that's threaded on both sides and an oversized hole here. So this back one here needs to be able to push through through thread here and be able to contact here to push push the front face back parallel to the dimension of the piece that I want to put in there. So that's what I've got to try and achieve. So what I'm trying to do now is oversize this hole here so the threaded rod just slides through. Similar to a hole that size, I think it's about 8 millimeters. So I think that's about the maximum I want the, the jaws to open up to. You don't want them to open up like massively, what's the point? So I can just reduce that if I wanted to, to about there. I'll just increase it. So probably something something in the order of that is the maximum I want those jaws to open up till. So it's made now. Probably all, all I really need to do now is probably blue it, so I heat it up really hot and just put some oil on it and that'll blacken it. Just wanted to admire the shiny, the shiny look for a little bit. I've just put a little piece of 5mm steel on there just for the moment and uh, it's quite tight. I just let one clamp go and away she goes. I have myself a little cute clamp. How cute is it? It's gorgeous.
Thanks for watching.